Hurricanes, the strong storms that wreak havoc in the tropics and beyond. But there's more to them than meets the eye. When storms gather in the tropical Atlantic or Eastern Pacific and spin up a sustained wind of 74 miles per hour, they get the name hurricane. That word comes from the Caribbean Taino language and refers to Huracan, the god of chaos and disorder some in the region believed controlled the weather. Hurricanes develop over the ocean and generate their power from latent heat. The energy released when air warmed by the ocean water rises and condenses to form storm clouds that tower miles high. Once that air has all of the moisture wrung out of it, it sinks. Some of it clears out the center of the storm called the eye. That calm center is surrounded by the worst storms and wind the hurricane has. The rest of that hot, dry air descends around the outer edges of the storm, leading to quiet weather that some call calm before the storm. The winds get all the press, but hurricanes do most of their damage with water. There are two types of flooding. Storm surge is the localized wind-driven rise of the sea level that can swallow towns in many feet of seawater. And of course, hurricanes often dump rainfall that can also be measured in feet. Hurricane isn't the only name for these storms. In the Western Pacific, they're called typhoons, and in the Southern Hemisphere, they're called cyclones. But whatever they're called, watch out wherever they go.